Welcome to another Synfig tutorial. So in this one, I am just going to show you how you can render your animations. So here I have a simple animation, and I'm going to be use going to be rendering this out. So there are a few ways that we can do this. We can either go to File, Render, or we can press F9 as you can see by the shortcut key here, or we can click this icon here. Now in the render settings, the first thing that you'll see is the target. Um, which is where you be, will basically choose be choosing your output where you will be outputting the, the video file to or the images to. Um, so let me just choose my location right now. I'm going to put mine on the desktop into, I believe I have a folder, it's called, a folder called render test. Okay. And I'm just going to, well, the name that I have is moving line and that is okay, but you can change your name here click OK. Now, by default, this is usually on auto, right? And the extension is usually .avi, right? So uh, with those settings, you could just click render and render it out as a AVI file. Okay. Um, but before you render, just make sure that all your settings are okay. Make sure that you can go to the time, the time uh, menu and select how many frames you want. So if I wanted this to end at maybe frame 48, you just type in 48 here. Okay, but let's go back to the different file types. So obviously we can render as an AVI file. Uh, you can actually render as an MOV file, right? Which is not a part of the, the, the entire setup here, but you can. So the only issue, issue is that you can't render that MOV file as an alpha file, meaning you can't render render it with a transparent background. Um, but to render as an MOV, just click on this drop down menu here, click on FFmpeg, and then change this to .mov, and then once you hit render, it will actually begin to render, and it will render out. Right now, you know, a lot of people don't know this because it's not a, supposed to be a part of the tool set, but you can, and the, the video will work. Okay. Um, so let, let's just wait a bit for it to render. Okay. So now it's done. So let's actually check on that. Shall we, if I go to render test and I open up this, we can see that it's rendered out and also if I hover, we can see that it's a QuickTime video file. So we know that it's an MOV and it actually works. Um, so let's go back to render settings. Now, of course, as I said before, you can render as a .avi by just um, making sure that the extension is AVI and um, it can work with FFmpeg um, as well, or it can work with auto. Um, you can render out images, right? So if I, to render out, render out as an image, click on the target and you can either select JPEG or PNG. Um, so let's say I choose PNG. Now, if I render out everything, it will actually render the PNG images out in a sequence of images, as a sequence, sequence of in, images. So let's actually test that out, shall we? Um, let me go to time and I'm actually going to end the animation at let's say um, 96, okay, and then click on render. And then there goes my render process again, well, progress again. So we'll just give that some time and we can actually look inside the folder and see that it's rendering out as PNG images, right? So you can then take these images into a, like a video editing program and um, export them as an image. Okay. So if you wanted a, a transport, a transparent background, like, a, um, a video with a transparent background, because you can't render out the video as such, you could just render it out as images and then, um, put it into a video editing program and then export it as a, um, an MOV with the transparent background. Okay. Just a quick note. If you, when you're rendering out your images and you want to make sure that the background is transparent, make sure that you turn off the background layer. 
Okay, so um, if you have a background, just turn it off. And once you render, you will render it out with um, an alpha channel, so you won't see the background. So if I should render this right now, I'm going to render. Um, oh, also make sure you select PNG, so you can get the alpha background. And I'm just going to render this out as a test. Let's call this moving line to the PNG. Um, and here I typed one frame. Okay, so it should give me one frame, end frame zero, end frame end time zero, start time zero. So this should give me one frame. So if I click on render, let's go ahead and check that now. Moving line two. If I open it, um, we see that it has a transparent background. But let me actually go to Krita. Let me close this and just show you that if I should open it. Moving line two, open, we see that there is no background. Okay, so keep that in mind. Make sure you turn off the background layer um, and render it out as a PNG if you want to have that alpha channel. You can render out as a, a GIF. Just choose Magic++ plus plus, and it will automatically just change this to a GIF. And you can render out your, your um, animations as a, a GIF. Did I say GIF, 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 yeah, whichever, <laughs> however you pronounce it, okay? Um, so yeah, um, that's pretty much it for rendering animations. This is just to get you started in rendering your animation. So hope you enjoyed this one and I will definitely, well, hopefully see you in the next one. Yo. Yeah.